Hey guys, how's it going? Dude, Long Catch here. Welcome to Let's Play Detroit Become Human. Guys, I have to start this series off with a little bit of bad news. I may not be able to upload videos anymore soon because um, I'm probably going to go to jail because I'm going to murder my neighbor's dog. Uh, it's been barking nonstop for like the last four hours. You can probably hear it on this fucking recording, but I didn't want to wait any longer to start playing this game. Um, I don't know. I know it kind of sounds trite, oh, dog's barking, whatever, who gives a shit, but it really is driving me insane, and I just had to mention that. I had to get it off my chest, guys. But hey, maybe this game will make me feel better. I uh, played the demo on my channel a couple weeks ago. It seemed pretty cool. It's a David Cage game, and I wanted to actually start on the screen because I got a uh, dynamic theme with my pre-order of the game, and uh, they call it that, but it's, it's not really that dynamic. It's just, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, some stuff changes when you scroll around and look at different things, but... It's really just a flat background in most places. It looks cool, though. I like it. So anyway, yeah, that's what this series is. That's the frame of mind I'm in. Let's fucking get started. Honestly, guys, I'm a dog lover, too. And I know it's not the dog's fault. It's just being a dog is doing doggy stuff. But I really am going to, like, just choke the life out of it soon. No jury will convict me, I swear. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Oh, this is cool. It's like my own personal android assistant on my console. Uh, yeah, that is all correct. We do want subtitles on. I'm gonna go ahead and make the size... See, like, even the, the large ones don't really look all that large, guys. I'm gonna leave them on large. Yes. Please adjust your screen settings. Okay. I think that actually looks pretty good right where it is. Thank you. Now select your profile. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls, a fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character that's experienced. We also have casual. I want to focus on the story with simpler controls, more forgiving challenge with fewer characters, with fewer chances to lose a character. And uh, those are the only two we have right now. I think I'm going to go with experienced. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Okay. So I imagine this game is the kind of thing where all of the actors, or like all of the characters are real actors and actresses with like super accurately scanned faces. I don't know who that woman was. <laughs> I imagine she has a name and has probably been in stuff that people have seen, but I don't watch a lot of TV, so I don't know. Okay, this is basically the same scene from the demo, if I'm not mistaken. The demo was the beginning of the game. Android does not care. We found a dwarf Gurami. Choose by performing the right movement. Leave or save? Uh, we should probably save it, I guess, right? <laughs> this wasn't in the demo. Yes. We are a peaceful Android. Software instability? What was that? Did you guys see that? Okay. Fine, Captain Allen. We basically know the setup here. 
if you guys watched the demo that I played, then you know. Hold R2 to consult your objectives. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna probably try and get through this relatively quickly, because we know how this plays out. And we know that this guy can die in this scenario, too. So... We'll try and avoid that this time. <laughs> shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Okay, um, deactivation code. Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Do you know its name? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, I'll take care of him. Okay, well I'm trying, but you're not being very helpful. Understand what happened and save the hostage at all costs, guys. So we gotta get that probability up. I wasn't quite able to figure out exactly how that all works when I played the demo. I got it up pretty high, it was like 90%, but then I still ended up dying. I think because I chose like the rash option when I was talking to him. Sorry if you uh, haven't actually seen that demo and don't know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of spoiling a lot of things, I guess, but... <laughs> My bad. Oop. Touchpad interaction. Love it. Alright, you've unlocked a dialogue or action, often beneficial. So we know the guy's name is Daniel. No, well, he's not a guy, he's a robot. An android. And we know there's a little girl involved. Child didn't hear gunshots. Yeah, so the first time he flipped out and murdered people, the girl was completely unaware. If you love the life you live, you will live a life of love. Ugh. Talk about contrived bullshit. Alright. I think that was everything in here. There's a lot more to look at, though, guys. Look at all these objectives we've got. <laughs> Alright, let's just start over here and work our way over, I guess. Oh, I missed this thing. So we're looking for clues. Gotta scan everything in. Can't find shit right now. Here we go. So I guess it doesn't really tell us anything until we find all of them. There's one more somewhere. Ah. There's not a really large uh, hit detection on those. Okay, we know how this works. Use L2 or R2 to review the reconstruction. This is a lot like Batman Arkham Origins. I love that they took that from that game. <laughs> yep, he took the father's gun. Move the camera around. We already got all the events though, so I think we're actually done in here. I think it's all we needed. And chance of success goes up just a wee bit. No, I'm not. Not yet. Uh, oh. Got it. Thank you. 
Oh, really? I didn't choose to do that. The game made that happen. That mute right there. I didn't know that this was the first time, though. This is a unique situation, guys. So these people really liked androids, I gather. I mean, if they owned one, I guess that's self-evident. But they were also reading magazines about them. So they obviously had a vested interest. Here we go. I'm just gonna save this whole place from burning down. There's only 18 officers in this fucking apartment. None of them could turn off the burner. And someone else got shot, apparently. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the person who got shot a while ago. There's one. Oh, wow. Can I go in and do it again? Yeah, you can just go in and look at it. Okay. P.O. Deckert Antony. Estimated time of death, 8.03. What time is it now? I don't know. It's probably been a couple hours, I think. And gunshot residue. So they give us a little heads up when there's like something of interest on the timeline there. We just have to rotate the camera around and find it. Hostage witnessed the shooting. So she didn't hear it. She didn't hear the first one, but she saw the, the second one, because there were two victims uh, originally, I believe. Cop shot the deviant. And then what happened? Okay. I don't know why finding that gun gives us an extra probability of success, but I'll take it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No. Not yet. Hold up. Child size shoe, colorful model. Hostage could be wounded. That's good to know, so she's not going to be doing jumping jacks away from this shit. Something else over here. Oh, that's another dead body. Could you stop popping off shots for just like two seconds while I handle this? Please. I'll get to you, I swear. Alright, this is gonna be a thing. <laughs> the hitboxes are weird in this game. Like, not hitboxes, but like detection boxes, you know? For contextual interaction. They can be finicky. It's okay, though. Nobody comes to these games for the, uh, gameplay. <laughs> they come for the story and the, uh, branching paths and stuff like that. Yeah, this guy got lit the fuck up. Look at all these gunshot wounds. We gotta find one more. The thing is, it doesn't even seem like a wide search area, but it can be tricky to find them. So, uh, okay, so this guy was the first to go out. He was chilling here watching TV. Father was holding something. Android comes up. He stands up, turns around, gets popped. Game over for him. Alright, so this is what he was holding. Yep, so there it is. 70% probability of success. We got a lot higher in the demo, but I don't know if that was adjusted for the demo, or if I'm just missing stuff here. It looks like I've got mostly everything, guys. But yeah, so the android was going to be replaced. He found out, he didn't like it, and he lost his goddamn mind. Oh, I didn't ever pick this up. I should do that, huh? T 
take or put back. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Okay. Well, this didn't work out so good for me when I did it in the demo. I put it back and then I ended up dying, but I think you can do this without taking the gun, so... Let's just put it back. I don't want to get myself in trouble. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to everyone. I'm collecting evidence, you piece of shit. Is that okay with you? Alright, we have no choice. It's time to go, guys. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! His ring is red. <laughs> like a 360. His motherboard overheated, guys. Name! Hi, Daniel! Uh, my name is Connor! How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh, no! Don't destabilize! Okay, we gotta gain his trust, guys. Approach slowly. I can do that. Nice and easy. Let's reassure him. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk! I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. Possible cause, Emma and you. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me, but I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! This game is very cinematic. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with Sympathetic. I think that's the one. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. All right, not a problem, bro. I agree with you. The situation is under control. I just really hope that was the right call. Jeez, I don't know what to pick, guys. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Ninety-nine. I want everyone to leave, and I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Sacrifice self, compromise. Ah. Uh. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. Reassure truth. Shit! You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. 100%. Okay. I trust you. Guys, we did it! Oh, come on, man. Software instability. I'm sorry, Daniel. I didn't know they were going to shoot you. I didn't want them to.
Yeah, that was pretty freaking cool, guys. <laughs> hey, I got through it without sacrificing myself, so I'm happy about that. And the little girl lived. That's the most important thing, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this is the scenes flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. Alrighty. Sniper shot deviant. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different ways this scene can play out, guys, and um, I don't even know like how different they all are. I know in one of them I sacrifice myself. I kind of like tackle uh, Daniel there and like push the girl to safety, but then we both fall off the roof. So, and, oh yeah, and he like shoots me on the way down too, which is pretty cool. But I avoided that this time. It would appear. Looks like I got most of the clues. Once we got up here, negotiate with deviants. This is where the branching starts, I believe. So the first half is like all the stuff that you can collect, all the clues you can look at. This will change depending on um, how thorough you are. We wasted too much time, apparently. Fuck all that, man. Yeah, okay. November 5th, 2038. That's where we are. So that basically covered everything up through the demo, guys. Let's go a little bit longer. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' homework at elementary school. Good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Alright, so I'm on display, kind of like a slave up for auction. $999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and maintenance. At night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Yo, that's Daniel, isn't it? Come along. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh. Oh, wow, guys. That's kind of cool because that was the name of a demo that uh, Quantic Dream made a long time ago to kind of showcase their new uh, facial recognition technology, I believe. That was way back, like, I think that was before Beyond Two Souls came out, which was their previous game on the PlayStation 3. So it's kind of, it's kind of come full circle. Okay, Clancy Brown, Minka Kelly, I know both of those people. Clancy Brown, I believe, was the the guard in Shawshank Redemption. He's got, like, a really badass voice. He's an intimidating dude. And Minka Kelly was the cheerleader chick in Friday Night Lights. So I guess we can kind of see both of them. We'll see how good their facial recognition software... Uh, not, not recognition. We'll see how good their facial scanning software is, because I'll probably recognize those people. Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't actually know. The thing about these games, guys, is, like, there's a ton of dialogue, and I'm going to try really hard not to talk over it, but, it, like, eventually that's going to happen from time to time. Not much I can do about it, but I'm not about that life, so I'll try to not blab your ear off when there's actually dialogue happening. And if you're not familiar with David Cage games, he's, like, you know, the main creative director at Quantic Dream, and um, his... His games are very, very story-heavy, not big on the gameplay. It's basically just interact with this, look at this, yada yada. It's about making choices and seeing the story play out. Kind of like a Telltale game, but a little bit more involved. I don't, I don't know why that dude was jerking himself off in the car right there. That seems inappropriate. But I guess that's one of the main uses of 
androids, right? When you have a super realistic android <laughs> that's a slave to your every beck and call, I mean, yeah, people are going to do sex stuff with it. That's life. It's probably saying, jerk me off in the car, bitch. Go to Bellini Paint Shop. Okay, so we're not Kara. We're some other dude. Android's helping the old dude stand up. I will say there's a there's a lot of detail in this environment. It's pretty cool. Wow. That's really cool. Did you see that? This lady was like, ah! The fuck away from me. You plastic idiots. Interesting. So this is kind of giving us a glimpse into the very near future where a lot of jobs are going to be automated. It's a little bit more involved than what you typically think of when you think of an automated job. This person wants to ban all androids. I'm gonna guess that there's a sob story behind this whole thing. Androids ruin our country, we want jobs. There you go. They think that the androids are taking their jobs, which is maybe a little bit true based on what we're seeing over here. You still have a job as a foreman, but the actual heavy labor is pretty much taken care of, it seems. Press R2 to use GPS. Alright, so we're trying to get all the way over there. Retrieve order. Number 847 at Bellini Paints. Alright, well, if you guys know anything about the long couch, you know that I like to explore and look at things and try different things, so... I'm not sure how far we can stray from the path here, but I gotta look around and find out. There's so many moving character models. Alright, we're getting walled off right there. Everybody's pissed off that androids are taking jobs away from people. That seems to be the main opposition so far. Could be a valid complaint, you know. I don't know. That's a very heavy political issue that I don't really want to get too deep into. Because this is not a political channel. <laughs> and it's a very complicated issue. I don't think it's as black and white as people make it out to be. There's going to be more automation as time goes on. You can't get around that. I think the trick is to create new jobs jumping off from the automation, like people have to build the automation, manage the automation, program the automation. In the case of the foreman, you have to oversee the automation. I don't know. How far away are we now? Doesn't tell. Oh, 17 meters. There we go. I gotta get used to being able to move the right stick around basically all the time, it seems like. I don't think we ever lose control of it in this game. I also can't run, though, it seems. Look at these movie posters, guys. That looks creepy as shit. Oh, it went away. After Mankind 3021. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so, like, when I was a kid, guys, all the future movies were talking about 2021. And, you know, the like, year 2000, 220, 220, whatever. And now, when we get just, like, 20 years into the future, we're looking at 3021. We jump ahead a full 1,000 years, and that's what it'll be for the next 1,000 years. So, Rackin, The Last Guardian, what? Andy Turin, John Wims, Nathan Croge, is that some kind of... Is that some kind of Last Guardian reference? Because I don't see anything that would actually reference it other than the title. But I don't know. It'd be a weird reference. Anna Maverick. Okay. Maybe we'll get the chance to see a movie sometime in this game. But then again, probably not. Okay, we've passed Bellini Paints. Where is it? 
Otto von Sally, here it is. Okay. So what exactly am I supposed to buy in here? Also, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I really like how the ring on their face that indicates they're an android is the same as the loading icon. <laughs> the nice little detail there, a little piece of symmetry in the game design. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. What if I just refuse to pay? I don't think I can do that. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Nice. Well, that was easy. Alright, use R1 to switch the camera angle. Oh, that's cool. How many different camera angles do we have? Just back and forth right now? What if I move over here? Hmm. The angle that it changes... ...changes depending on the angle. Is anybody else confused by what I just said? It makes perfect sense in my brain. <laughs> I don't know if it made sense to everyone else, though. Alright, so now our next objective is... Take the bus home. These are easy objectives, man. I'm used to way more difficult shit than this. Kill a troll. Get the Master Sword. Shit like that. We got some cops up here, guys. Officer friendly. Let's go see if we get harassed just for walking the street as an android. Hello, hot dog, please. Hello, officer. Look at this Carl Winslow looking motherfucker. If this dude was like 100 pounds heavier, he'd be a dead ringer. I'm really impressed by how many, like, moving people there are. The game does feel a little stilted, though, animation-wise. And I think the environments generally look good. I wouldn't say that they look great. That wet pavement there on the ground is pretty nice. But I've seen better. I'm not trying to trash talk it, I'm just being honest, guys. It's definitely good enough for the purposes of the game. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? It's okay, it's further up here. Can I get a hot dog? I imagine the androids don't need to eat. But that doesn't mean I don't want one. Look at that, there's a thing right there where I can pay. Why don't you have a damn hot dog? Aww. Alright, Ben's lunch special. We can't actually read all that. Do you guys have any idea how much I eat even though I'm not hungry? I do it all the time. I'm doing it right now, actually. That's not true. But I probably will, as soon as I'm done recording this. Android compartment. We have our own compartment on the bus. It's like a freaking army, man. How do you guys think wars are fought in this world, in this time? They've all got to be fought with androids, right? Like, if we have androids this advanced, why would we not send them to fight for us? I don't know, maybe because they're super expensive to make, but... They can't be all that expensive if they're being sold in stores on the streets of Detroit. Like, if quote-unquote normal common people are affording them, then surely the government can make as many as they fucking want, right? Wait, this was its own... What the fuck? Marcus took the bus. 
Okay, well, apparently there was a lot of branching stuff we could have done here that I didn't even realize. <laughs> Visit paint store, collect package. Well, so, okay, so it all ends with taking the bus. But I don't know what else we might have missed out on. I guess this is the kind of thing where you can't really do everything in this game, guys. Uh, you can only do certain things because of all the branching paths, so I won't be able to show you everything, but I'll be able to show you my playthrough, which I guess is good enough. I hope it's good enough. <laughs> I'm going to play a little bit longer because that was not the most thrilling objective right there. I don't even know what purpose that served, really. Other than to show me there's an android named Marcus and he buys paint at the store. They really want me to be switching these camera angles up. Okay, we're gonna join Todd. Todd and Kara. Coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Relax there, big guy. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. So am I gonna have to actually do the housework? Hold R2 to scan your environment. Oh god, I think I am, guys. Urgent tasks and optional tasks. Collect the trash, collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, check the backyard. Wow, okay. So is this timed, or like, how is it determined how much of this stuff I can do? I guess we'll start by doing this. Collect trash, clean kitchen, okay. Yeah. The hell do I take the trash out to? So all those objectives were showing me trash I should be picking up. Yeah, same place. You know where. So this is like vaguely sad, right? Like I know she's just a robot and she doesn't really... Well, I was going to say she doesn't really have emotions, but Daniel in the beginning kind of showed us that's not really true, right? TV on. So it begs the question, like, do these things ever get sad being slaves to real people? Do they get bored? Do they get tired? Does she want to be doing all these chores for us? Application rejected, credit card. Okay, so this dude's broke as shit. That's what that was telling us. But he can afford an Android. <laughs> Somehow. So, again, they can't be all that expensive. This is awkward. Okay, we've completed the urgent task, guys. Hey, look! There's another android way over there. Getting on the bus. I can't tell if that's Daniel or not. I kind of feel like it may have been. One of our optional tasks was to check the backyard. Can't do it from here. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Well, we started off strong, guys, but now we're getting into some real, uh, <laughs> some real mundane stuff. Report to Todd. What about the optional tasks? I want to be a good housekeeper. I want to make this guy happy, because that'll make my life better in turn, right?
the hell is this? Dishwasher not working. Missing components. Order processing. We just ordered the component for him. What if he didn't want it? What if he doesn't have money for it? Hmm. What are you doing, Todd? Todd, what the fuck? Finished first floor. Okay. Um. Todd's either jerking off or getting high or some kind of combination of the two. Oh, he has a headache. That's too bad. Hey, how you doing, kid? Alright, you just chill there. That's cool. Man, this would be awesome, though. Just having an android to do all this stuff for you. You don't have to pay them. Buy them once and... They last as long as they last. Because dishes fucking suck, guys. I'm here to tell you. Oh, is this... Is this motion control? Fuck off. Fuck off with this. Okay, yeah. Touchpad stuff, motion controls, whatever. Just wash the damn dishes, okay? <laughs> Girl wants to say hi, but she's shy. Probably because she spent her whole life hiding from her dad. It's very sad. Should we get him some fucking ibuprofen or something? Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. All right. Get your damn beer. I wonder if I'm messing up already. Like, should I just tell him to fuck off? Like, should I just see what happens if I'm like, no, get your own beer? Whoa. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Alright. There's the vacuum cleaner. The Roomba. Very advanced Roomba. This is kind of making me want to play Chibi Robo, guys. <laughs> He's going to get mad. <laughs> I'm just very entranced by this hockey game. Alright. Alright, dude. Could you seriously not just turn that on yourself, though? It's already fucking automated. Just hit the button on it. You don't need an Android to do that for you. You better stop that right now! What's she doing? Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. I don't like this guy. I think I'm gonna murder him the first chance I get. And then they'll send Connor after me. And I'll be like, yo, this guy totally deserved it. It'll be a whole thing. You watch. Take down the laundry. Okay. Should we mow this lawn too? This place is pretty jacked up. This is the most thrilling Let's Play video of all time. Although, I, I gotta say, I am kind of enjoying this. <laughs> How do I take this shit down? Am I going nuts? It did say take down the laundry, didn't it? Oh, we need the basket. Okay. Yeah, sometimes trying to interact with this stuff is like... I don't even know how to describe it. It's like trying to peel apart a piece of Velcro with one hand. Because <laughs> the controls are just fighting you. But it's not a big deal. The stakes aren't really that high. At least not yet, you know? <laughs> what up, kid? 
Rewash the laundry. Okay. Is this our washer out here? Do we keep it outside? Let's talk to this kid. Hmm. You like playing out here? Okay. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Warmer? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Doesn't want to play a game. Alright. I'll just go fuck myself then. Okay. We're not going to do the laundry out here. Here we go. Just playing with the camera angles, guys. <laughs> It's fun. This girl kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence, doesn't she? <laughs> like, I feel like she does have a little bit of a J-Law thing going on. What is this? Red ice. Okay. Oh, is that drugs? You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Don. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Don. Well, maybe don't leave your drugs in the fucking laundry detergent, you dumbass. You ever think of that? Alright. Optional tasks are completed. Let's go talk to numbnuts over here. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Very, very, very interesting. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this intro video here. When we get back, we'll go upstairs and clean some more, because, you know, that's rewarding. Uh, seriously, though, it was a strong start with the whole scenario with Connor and Daniel. Um, I'm sure we'll get back into stuff like that very soon, hopefully, hopefully. I don't know. Um, I'm enjoying this regardless of the, the mundane nature of some of this stuff, but... You know, it, it's building up to stuff, and the more things we learn about this guy, the more story we'll uncover as we keep playing, so. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I will catch you guys in part two of Detroit Become Human. Take care.